Hello students this is Payal ma'am here I hope you all are doing good Today we are going to discuss about those living creatures whose chirping wakes us up in the mornings Yes they are none other than the birds We have already studied about the various adaptive features found in the birds which enables them to fly in your previous class The feathers on their body the distinct boat shaped body the presence of wings and hollow bones etc are some of those that aids in flying today we are going to begin a new chapter which is birds beaks and claws today we are going to concentrate on the beaks in this video so let us dive into the topic birds as you know do not have teeth as we have their beak is versatile it is useful for the birds in many ways birds use their beaks to tear bite chisel or crush the food some birds use their beaks to fight the enemy or catch the prey they also use it for preening now what is preening preening means to clean the feathers and set them right the birds spread the wax secreted or released at the base of their feathers during this process now moving on with the types of beaks first one is the crushing beak birds like sparrow and pigeon have a short and hard beak they use it for crushing the seeds and grains and thereby making them soft before eating now we also get the grains like wheat crushed into flour before consuming isn't it but we get it done by the machines now birds are not that privileged but their beak is a perfect alternative for this they crush the seeds with their strong beaks before consuming them Next is the curved beak. Birds like the parrot have a curved beak. This helps them in cracking the nuts and fruits. I'm sure you would have observed the curved beak of the parrot. Many people love to have parrots as pets at their home, and they are very intelligent birds. They can learn imitating our voice too. Next is the piercing and tearing beak. Some birds like eagle and vulture eat flesh. So you know I suppose that eagle, vulture and kites are called scavengers as they help in cleaning out the dead bodies of living organisms. Otherwise, the earth would have smelled rotten due to the decomposing of the dead bodies all around. Such birds have a strong, hard and curved beak that helps them to tear the flesh. Now as carnivorous animals have sharp, pointed and curved canines to tear the flesh of their prey, similarly these birds have sharp, curved and pointed beaks to tear open the flesh of the dead animals. Crows and hens have beaks that help them to eat a variety of foods like meat fruits grains and insects next type of beak is the chiseling beak birds like the woodpecker have a strong long and straight beak this helps them to peck at the wood and eat insects present in the wood so you can see here the woodpecker pecking at the wood Now pecking here means very quickly they are touching the wood with their beak and bringing it back very fast. So it's repeatedly doing that and you can see how strong the beak is which is just peeling and removing the hard wood of the tree. It is trying to dig into the wood in search of its food. probing beak now basically the word probing means to search something 
So some birds like hummingbird, sunbird and the hoopoe have a long and slender beak. Slender means thin. So these birds have thin and long beak. Sunbird sucks nectar from the flowers. Hoopoe takes out insects and worms from the holes in the ground. Named after their calls. Here's what a hoopoe sounds like. So here you can see a hoopoe preening and searching for its food in the ground. Now these are the hummingbirds. See how tiny they are. They flap their wings very fast, nearly 90 times per second. So here you can see its long and slender beak. It is sucking the nectar and drinking water through its beak. Sifting beak. The word sifting means to separate out something. The duck has flat and broad beak with small holes on both the sides. It digs up the food along with mud from the base of the pond or lake. Its beak pushes out the mud and water from the holes leaving the food behind. Its beak thus helps to sift or separate food from mud and water. So the food goes inside the mouth and all the mud and water moves out through these holes of the beak. Sticky beak. A swallow has a small, broad and sticky beak. This beak is sticky from inside. This helps the swallow to catch flies while flying. Now, we are going to watch a video showing different birds with their names so that next time you watch a bird, you would be able to guess its name too. And the people who study about birds are called ornithologists. So who knows, maybe one of the budding or future ornithologists is also watching this video, isn't it? Bull bull. Canary Crane Crow Duck Flamingo Dove 
eagle. Emo Kingfisher Kiwi The Forest Macau Moana Nightingale Owl oh.